everybody we're back um, we just got done sanding this down with 320 or not 320 sanding it down with 60 and I want to do it down to 120 so as you can see we brought the things out so we're gonna do a little bit more sanding and then we're gonna to get to the next phase of putting our finish on so you want to sand with 120 make sure that uh, Get everything smooth, etc. Use both sides, make sure you do the edges. Okay, we're done with that. The next thing we want to do is clean everything off and wipe it down. I usually take a little alcohol and I wipe her down just to get all the dirt and the dust and stuff so that when I go to put my finish on I got a nice clean surface okay now the next thing what we're going to do So we're going to use this product here, and um, you could put clear coat down any way you want, but uh, we're going to use this product right here. Uh, it's a clear, uh, call it clear cast. Um, it's a resin. It's an epoxy, and um, this one happens to be made by um, Illuminite. And what it does is give you a nice finish that's real heavy and durable like what we got here. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to have alcohol on it, etc. Again, what I'm using is this Illuminite product. It's a two-part epoxy, and um, it makes a nice, durable finish. So the situation is this. We're going to mix it together 50-50. Okay. And the work time on this is about a half an hour. So I figure I'm going to probably use about a total of two ounces. So that means an ounce of each material. Next thing we want to do is mix it very, very um, well. And uh, it's kind of like the thickness of, I don't know, syrup. But the thing is, is that you want to get it thoroughly mixed up. And remember, you already have, you have a pretty good working time on this, so you have a lot of time and you really want to mix this. I've read to where you mix it up to three to five minutes. Scraping the sides. 
and uh, scraping the bottom. Got to get this stuff mixed up really well. And it kind of looks cloudy when it's mixed up completely. It doesn't have any streaks, it's got a uniform color. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got like a uniform color now. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to take this and we're going to just kind of pour it out over the top. Now you're going to have to be on something that uh, this stuff's going to run off all over the place. This isn't like when you paint with a brush. This stuff here is like pouring it on. So you got to make sure you get it all over. And what I try to do is just kind of spread it around. And like I said, this you're going to get it all over the place. And I just make sure that I have all my areas covered as well as I can get imagine to get them. You want this stuff all over. I want to make sure that it covers everything. Self-leveling so you don't have to worry that much about whether you got it level or not, it's self leveling. The important thing is make sure that you have everything covered. And I usually run down the sides here and Again, I just I'm just trying to make sure that I've got resin all over it. I'm gonna spin this around so I can get the other side. And again, what we're just trying to do is get it on, make sure everything's covered. For the very fact that it is a self-leveling. It'll level itself out. But we just have to make sure that it's covered. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is to get the bubbles out of it. And the way you get the bubbles out of it is you use a propane torch or a heat gun and you kind of just whisk over the top of it with a heat gun 
and it helps release all the bubbles. Be on the lookout for places you might have missed. So we take a heat gun and basically what this will do is help the bubbles come out to the top and release them. And I don't know if you can see them breaking but they are. And all I'm doing is whapping over the top of it. I'm not really getting it hot or anything. Just kind of whapping over the top to get those air bubbles to come up and break. And that's it. All we have to do now is let it dry, let it cure, and uh, let it do its thing. Now, if it comes out with a lot of like uh, bumpies on it and stuff because of dust bits, you can sand it like with 400, then 800, then a thousand, and then also polish it at that point. Or if you don't like it that glossy, you can just hit it with like um, Scotch Brights. It'll dull it down just a little bit to where it has more of a matte finish. So, thanks for watching. Um, that's the conclusion of this particular project, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you back next month for the next month's project. Remember, you can get all the instructions videos and tap by our files on nextwayautomation.com and uh, see you back next month.